Dr. Kanita. I'm here to show you some Qigong exercises and stretches for carpal tunnel. Now I know during the pandemic, a lot of people work at the computer all day. So typing, using the mouse, even um, you know, playing more video games can cause some carpal tunnel syndrome. Playing, you know, the Nintendo Switch. I know a lot of people was were buying a lot of that. Um, so this is great if you have any carpal tunnel syndrome. So uh, carpal tunnel is basically, you know, the meat. The, you have a couple of nerves that go around your wrist. So you have the median nerve that goes into your wrist that can cause a lot of pain. So it gets entrapped in this area due to uh, you have a bunch of tendons going through this uh, the carpal tunnel itself. So it can cause numbness. It can cause pain in the palm. Sometimes you lose um, sensation in the thumb or the muscles get. Um, atrophied or they don't work as well and you get uh, numbness down into the fingers sometimes so if you have any of those symptoms of course go see a doctor to get diagnosed first and then you can try these exercises yourself so again if any of them cause more pain down the uh, fingers or the hands you know stop and talk to your doctor but I would you know be gentle doing these exercises they're really simple so they shouldn't hurt the first one um, is also like a tendon strengthening exercise. But basically gonna go kind of like in a prayer position. Um, I'll start about the feet first. So feet around shoulder width apart. You can do this seated too if you want. And uh, the knees are slightly bent. The tailbone is gonna be tucked in the knees. So you're gonna feel kind of the weight go into your feet. Put your hands into uh, this position, a little prayer position. All you do is when you breathe in, you're just gonna bring your fingertips towards your chest. So you want to go to your limit, right? If it's like, oh, that's really tight, you know, just go. If it's just an inch, that's fine. Just breathe in. See where, and for me, you can feel the, the stretch in this area. Breathe out, relax. Breathe in. Out. And here you don't want to, you know, like push or squeeze. You want to have your chest nice and relaxed, the shoulders relaxed, right? And the chin, um, you want to kind of like tuck a little bit. Breathing in, bringing your, the fingers towards your chest, breathe out. Breathe in, out. So doing this like six to eight times again, if you're feeling a lot of tingling in the area, it would stop, but go to your limit, right? If it's just a little bit, that's totally fine. You're gonna feel the stretch on here that's gonna help with your carpal tunnel. And another great, um, in addition to that exercise is another Dao Yin kind of padding. And it's just to help with the circulation in your hands. Um, so what you're gonna do, it's really simple. You're just gonna rub up the channel. So you're gonna rub on the outside, coming down. Right, towards the heart, you can see it. So outside, down, about nine to 10 times on each side. And this is just helping activating the uh, channels of your arm, help with the circulation, waking up the energy, and then you can do the other side as well. So about, again, nine to 10 times. Then the next exercise you can do, um, it's actually part of the April case, but you can do this because it's going to help strengthen the tendons in your hands, help stretch it as well. So it's the uh, drawing bow exercise. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your right foot in as your right arm crosses like this. So here, and what you're going to do is you're going to make this uh, like squeezing, <clears throat> like you're aiming a bow at someone. So crossing here, drawing the bow to the right. Then when you're gonna uh, go to the other side, you're gonna bring your left foot in, uh, left arm crosses, and then draw. So again, you wanna keep the shoulders relaxed. When you're doing this, it's like a slight squeeze and you are gonna feel a stretch. So it's going to help the tendons 
um, and the carpal tunnel syndrome. Right? And for me, I feel the energy coming all the way up here. So, you want to think of like you, you actually are going to shoot something here. So just having your intention go into your arms, down to your fingers, feeling it fill up your hands. So you can do six to eight breaths on each side. And honestly, if you want to just do the seated, you could just cross, right? Don't have to move your legs if it's too uh, difficult. But mainly you want to feel like this stretching sensation across your chest down into your hands and you're contracting your back a little bit but you're not you know you don't want to squeeze too much so those are a couple of exercises that you can do to try to help relieve your carpal 